Hello and welcome to the Companion Guide series where we test out all the companions in the game and we find the best setups for each situation. Today guys, we will be taking a look at Xena, who is a pretty decent Musketeer companion. You do have to do a lot of quests in order to get her. She is available on all classes absolutely free. And by the way guys, when you actually do do all the quests, and you get her as a companion, you also have an amazing dungeon you can farm afterwards for some nice eye patches and other Aquila gear. Very high drop rates there, and for that reason, it may be worth doing the quest. Uh, but she's also not that bad of a companion, and I will, of course, go into her in more detail as far as epics and uh, talents. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can get this companion. So I'll go ahead and put the uh, the pictures of the quests and the locations and everything on the screen. Um, but what you'll uh, do is after you've completed the main quests, um, uh, Legastrin with the wind. So when you basically do the the Legan Legastrin era area, um, that's where you you fight like the little ogre guys. Uh, after you do that, then you get access to a side quest called Pros and Concrete. You can get it from Fontis in Ikea. Um, so he's right, right by the aqueduct. Um, so, uh, so yeah, you do that. And that further leads to another side quest called um, Pupil Get Ready. So you do that. It's also from Fontis, same guy. And then, of course, the last one is also from Fontis and is Hurley Burley. And that one takes a very, very long time uh, to complete. So, decent number of side quests, uh, and you get a good, um, a good boss to farm afterwards, and a pretty decent companion. So that gives you an idea. I'll go ahead and put that on the screen along with the locations and the NPC, um, so you can see exactly how and where to do this quest in order to get the companion. Okay, so now that you know that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the unique features this companion has. Uh, so 4.5 movement and 4 range, like a lot of Musketeer companions in this game. Um, so nothing all that stellar as far as that goes. Um, she does get these right here, these uh, Reign of Fire um, traps. You can put them on the ground and, you know... It's in a in a crosswise pattern, so you know, you'll get a couple of units to walk through that usually on the way uh, to trying to attack her. So it's kind of a nice repellent right there. I mean, it's only like 324 damage each, so it's not a huge amount. But I mean, damage is damage. It's nice that she has that. Uh, and that being said, uh, she has an epic strike to go along with it as well. So, so yeah. Now, uh, now, now that we kind of talked a little bit about her features, um, let's go ahead and dig into a couple of little setups you can go uh, with for this companion. All right, so she automatically comes with double tap and return fire. So there are two possible setups you can go with as far as this companion goes. There's the one that I prefer, which is the Overwatch setup. You can go with burst fire rate two and Overwatch. And then, of course, you know, the second one is a full chain setup, which is where you go first fire rank 2 and double tap rank 2. I prefer the second one because this companion seems to be better tuned to um, helping to counter a charge. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying she's one of the best companions for doing that, but um, as far as her potential uh, goes, like, she's not going to be like that great as far as a counter musketeer unit or anything like that and uh, you know it's best to get the most value out of her it's not like you're likely to get a full chain with all the double taps and everything um, so I just prefer the overwatch but if you want to uh, if you want to get all the chains and stuff then go for double tap rank 2 and burst fire rank 2 so those are the two setups, guys. Once again, the first setup is Double Tap Rank 1, uh, Return Fire Rank uh, 1, and Burst Fire Rank 2, and Overwatch Rank 1. The second setup, guys, is Double Tap Rank 2, Return Fire Rank 1, and Burst Fire Rank 2. So those are the two best setups you can really put on Xena. 
All right, now we dig into the talents. Talent-wise, you want to go with Tough Rank 4, Rough Rank 4, Accurate Rank 4, Dodgy Rank 4, and Agile Rank 4. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is Xena. So um, I guess you know I'll finish this off by doing a little bit of a comparison. Uh, she's you know better than say Hong Rao. I say she's a better, more improved version of Hong Rao. Um, I would say companions like Exeter have a lot more utility uh, and crowd control. Uh, Bonnie Ann has more range and more chain potential. Um, Nazuka, see if I can find her real quick. Nazuka has more movement. So you kind of see where this companion falls in. It's kind of an okay-ish companion, but there are a lot of other companions that are much better. So... That's Xena, guys. That is Xena. I will see you guys in the next companion guide. It's been your friend and pal, the first of Murbaduki, with yet another Pirate 101 video. quack a doodle -doo, and peace out for now. Like what you see and want to help support it? Well, do consider joining the Quack Club. Just head over to the Fierce of Murbaduki on YouTube, hit that join button, and it will give a brief explanation as far as all the perks goes. Thank you guys so much. For everything, your like, your view, your comments, it is all very much appreciated. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.